on the last episode of the Fab Farms. Worked on the shop, hung the mini chopper. Built the light. Worked on the bibster. Worked on a little bit of everything. In this episode I wanted to focus solely on the bibster though and get some stuff done. I talked about making some strut braces and so I wanted to get those knocked out at least nice and tacked in, ready, or one step closer to blowing that thing apart. Agenda today, get these strut braces in, and uh, yeah, at least get them tacked in. Maybe get the braces themselves welded up. Maybe not the tabs, but the braces. Clean, shark hide. And then, I don't know, we'll see how much time I got. So like I mentioned in the last video, I wanna make some braces that basically come from this strut tower all the way over here to this turbo mount and uh gonna tab them up some a left and a right-handed heim so i can adjust it and yeah one of my concerns is that the motor's offset a little bit so this side's gonna be shorter than that side and i want the angles to kind of match so see what see what we can do All right, so I just spent last 45 minutes prepping, prepping all my tabs. This kind of stuff that most people don't see on the channel. Actually, nobody sees on the channel because I don't put it on there. It's just boring work, but just clean everything up, kind of bevel some of these edges, just to prep everything. I'm just gonna put these bad boys together. Um, I actually even made some like misalignment spacers to go on here. I don't have the right size bolts, so everything I'll do when I'm totally finished will be like a nice gold grade A bolt. But I need it in this length and I don't have one, so I'll just replace it later. All right, so the recipe goes like this. Bolt, kill fab tab, spacer. And let's see, put the right-handed ones out here, another spacer, another tab. Nut to finish it off. What I'm doing here is I'm using two separate or two different size tabs. So you can see this one is longer than this one. And that's just to give me that angle that I need on the tube. So the ones that go on the frame or on the motor side, the engine side, um, won't need any spacer in there. Or at least I don't think they'll need a spacer. So we'll try them out just like this. Now, I just need to try to determine the length of tubing I need, or pretty close to what length of tubing I need. So let's see here. This one you need three hands. You do me a favor, measure that distance right there. No, looks like maybe 10 and three quarter inches, 11. We'll go with that. I'll just cut it, we'll find out. Let's see, Let's see here. That's how you do it right here. Do it with the mouth. That's a trick. You see it here first. It 
Fab Forms. Fab Forms Pro Tip right there. How to, how to create an extra arm. Now let's go get it all cut around. You can dress it up a little bit so it don't look so bad. So, numero uno is in, tacked in. And it's got it tacked because, yeah, you don't want to kind of start welding stuff until you're 100% sure you got what you want. Now, I will tell you a few of the challenges that I'm gonna run into is that on, on the Fords, this cylinder head sits a little bit more forward than that one does. And so like I'll probably eat up that gap that I've got on this side over here. It's gonna actually sit probably closer to that cylinder head. 
or at least I think I need it to in order to make it look right so that way those are symmetrical and I gotta make sure that the distance between here and that first tab is the same on both sides so I've already I've already got that one marked uh, that way I know that it, that's that inch and a half off that bad boy off so you can hear me so I'm gonna be a little bit honest it's kind of concerned of you know how that would look as far as tying all those together um, I thought it would really take away from the styling of these front strut arms and right now it actually doesn't look too bad I'm actually pretty happy with it. It just kind of adds to the theme of this thing, of all these tubes and heims. Uh, it's just got a lot going on, especially now that I've got the tubing that goes down that holds the turbo. Got, you know, tubing there, heims, tubing, more tubing, more heims, and so it kind of fits the theme of what's going on. May end up at some point doing a cross brace too that goes from here to the other side. Um, that's adjustable as well just so I can kind of take any load off the cylinder heads that might potentially be there the other thing that I know is that once I get some valve covers on here a lot of this will disappear so the valve covers that I've got for this thing are aluminum and they're like this big I mean they stick way up they're sheet metal valve covers they're really gonna kind of stick up here in the air it's gonna kind of dwarf this little piece and I think and I haven't 100% decided yet because I don't know exactly how I'm going to run the exhaust on this thing. But I thought about making the induction for the turbo match the exhaust. So there may be like a tube that comes up like this or something. And maybe does the exhaust the same on the other side. Or maybe it comes through here. I don't know. Still got a lot to figure out. Do like on this side. My original plans were the, the exhaust was going to come off. Come up through like this and then turn out. But now I'm gonna have a bar in here, so it's gonna make things even tighter. It's all right, because one thing I do know is that this is gonna stiffen all this up a lot. Um, you know, I'm not that worried about flex this way, but I was a little bit worried about flex that way. I mean, it just doesn't have the stabilization that it needed. Cornering, any kind of cornering or, or turning in a parking lot or something like that, it's really gonna flex that camber. Uh, could possibly wear on these himes down below One of the things I am going to do is Right now it's just kind of mock-up stage once I kind of get this thing all mocked up and I blow it back apart all these Places where these himes attach I'm gonna reinforce all that stuff To probably even put some kind of cap these in I know all this stuff will be boxed in so I'll actually make a plate on the bottom side of these that ties into these tabs and then ties into the chassis kind of reinforce both of those that one as well so i want those to be extra strong may box this in just to keep it from kind of twisting off either side may do it on the bottom i don't know yet i'll have to see this looks like jewelry just another piece of jewelry for this thing. All right, enough talking. Let's get to work on the inside.
So things turned out rad. And it really doesn't take away from like the side profile look of the vehicle. It changes the way it looks up front, which I think it's gonna continue to change as I finish this thing. I mentioned the valve covers. If I do some kind of grill shell, it's gonna change the way that that looks. The exhaust, the induction. There's got a lot of stuff going on up there that still has to go on. So we'll see if you even notice them. I don't know. I'm a fan of Himes and tubing and yeah, it just looks wicked. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow, because it'll be Friday, fool.